I didn't get you anything. No, I knew you wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm seeing you next week. Yeah. Don't get emotional for the show. Thank you very much, Margaret. You won't thank me very much for it. It's a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Go on, open no, it. No, I don't want to. No, no you I have don't... to. Uh, that's part of it. You have to goddamn open it. Just lifts off the top. Very nice. No. No, Excuse I don't... me. No. Excuse me, elegant. Oh, Aren't they lovely? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Okay. Is he going to wear them? Very funny. No, he's not. You gotta wear them for oh, the show. No. <laughs> Don't be cranky about I'm it. I'm not cranky about you crank it. You haven't said thank you. Thank you. <laughs> George. Jesus Christ. No. That laugh. The lady bearing gifts, of course, was Margaret Pomerantz, and I'm delighted to say she joins me now in the studio. <laughs> Did you like that? That, of course, oh, was a reference. No, I, I mean, looking at it, you know, <laughs> from the distance now, I go, oh, gosh. But that was all about David Stratton wearing the same type He wears of shoe the same boring shoes for, for years. You know, decades, and never runs out, just sort of stocks up when he sees them on special. <laughs> what? So, what we saw on set, that's the way you are. Offset and onset. It's a natural relationship. Pretty much, yes. And that's part of the magic. Look, you know, I mean, we're very different. You know, it's the male, female. He's so organised and anal. I'm chaotic. It's absolutely opposites of personality. And, but, you know, he's great. And, you know, I think he's a national treasure. So, a certain amount of respect, but. Not too much. <laughs> what was it like recording that last show, Margaret? Pretty emotional? Yeah, it was. And it's really starting to sink in now that, you know, it was hard to believe that we'd done it for a while. But the reaction has been so overwhelming, it's really moving. And today being the final day, mm. I, I sort of, I'm really starting to feel yeah. it. Well, let's get back to uh, some of the movies themselves and take a look back. First, uh, one to which you gave five stars and to which David gave zero. This is Dancer in the Dark by Lars von Trier. Now, David doesn't like anything by Lars von Trier, is that right? No, he got offside with David some years ago and the, so the thing was that this screened in Cannes when I wasn't actually in Cannes and he brought a review of Philip French, the British critic, back to Australia and shoved it on my desk and Philip was trashing this film and uh, you see he said see and I went off to see it and I thought it was incredible I thought it was really a wonderful anti-capital punishment mm. uh, film and I was tremendously moved I think he's a daring filmmaker David doesn't have very much time but I've sat next to them in Cannes and yeah. Venice or the, a couple of critics that have got their backs up against Lars and they're determined to dislike the film, which, mm. whichever way it comes out. Did you ever manage to change David's mind about a movie? No, I don't think so. I think he is, he, you know, has very strong opinions and I do too. Uh, so, I, I mean, I, I'm, I feel sometimes that I've missed out on something if he's loved it and I haven't. I feel it's my loss. Do you know what I mean? You feel you're not seeing something that, yes, that he's Yes, exactly, spotted. exactly. Now, you're also both been credited with supporting and promoting the Australian film industry. A significant movie, which you both loved, was Samson and Delilah. Tell us a little bit about, about that and really the success of that off the back of what you two thought of it. Well, you know, we both saw Samson and Delilah. We were... I was blown away by it and I said to Warwick Thornton, you're going to win the Camera Door, which is the prize in Cannes for best first film. And he did. So that, that sort of accolade from overseas seems to mean a lot in Australia. And us supporting it to the tune of, you know, very rarely do we both give a film five stars. An Indigenous Australian film, five stars, uh, it did unbelievable business and I, I, if we had any role in helping people access that film, mm. I'm very proud. And Margaret, in this digital age, what is it about going to the cinema, about going to the movies and sitting in a darkened theatre which still appeals? Well, I worry that people are going to be sort of sitting in little pods just watching movies alone and there is that whole sense of 
of a, a shared experience. I went to see Roman Polanski's Bitter Moon and there were only about 10 of us in the cinema and it was all individual people and someone started laughing and it made it okay for us to treat it as a comedy. And it, it was amazing, the connection between those 10 isolated individuals in that cinema. It was magic. The shared experience yes. is what it's all about. Yes. Yeah. So you say it's just starting to sink in that tonight will be the last at the movies yes. being broadcast. What now for you? Well, I'm, I've still, I write for a small publication and I'll continue to do that. And I don't know, maybe a lot of walking along the beach, vegging out. <laughs> You'll still see David, though. Oh yes, yeah, absolutely. You know, no, he's a mate for life. I'm afraid he can't get rid of me that easily. But will you go to the movies? With him, oh yes, think? yes, absolutely. I mean, I think that you couldn't do the job that we've done unless you had that passion for cinema in you, and that's not going to die mm. just because I'm not on air anymore. It's, I went to the movies before the movie show and at the movies, and I'm certainly going to be going afterwards. And when you first started this whole adventure 28 years ago, could you have any idea that you'd still be doing it? No way. Years no. Later? I got the budget for 12 programs. That was 12 weeks. And, you, you know, I thought that was going to be it. That was, there was no more money. But the only reason it was on air for all those early years was that it was quite cheap to produce. So, I was very cheap, <laughs> and so, you know, it, it just sort of ambled along and more and more people started watching it, and it's just, I, I, it's phenomenal, really, the impact that it's ultimately had. And that the core of it is your relationship with David Stratton? I think the core of it is this focus on cinema each week, you know, because, you know, with the ABC, various platforms that it comes out on, uh, it's 700,000 people a week, you know, focusing on cinema. That's mm. an amazing audience. Margaret, it's been wonderful to talk to you in the final at the movies, which is now a special, I believe, tonight at 9.30, ABC One. Yes, Margaret thank Cormans, you very thank much, you. Ross.